here with your winner. That's a wrap, son. Fuck yeah, cowboy. You're a veteran. This is Colorado. This is your place. What do you want to say to the people? Having a baby changed me. I know I know what I'm fighting for. I never knew it before. Donald Cowboy Surrender! Look how confident he looked. He looked smooth as fuck. Been here a million times and nobody's ever twisted that motherfucker the way he twisted that. They say it on the thing, most wins in UFC history, baby! And most finishes in UFC history. How does that feel here in Denver to do that? Say, talk about going back to 155. That's what we need to talk about. So I think you'll be going back and talking to Dana White. Damn right, coming after that belt, Khabib, I'm coming, Cowboys back. What a great freaking win for Cowboys. I feel like I'm a veteran in the sport, man, and I'm looking to get 50 fights in this motherfucker, so how about that? Let's hear for your winner, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, ladies and gentlemen! I love you, Denver. I love you. No one can discount the skill, the toughness, the experience of Donald Cerrone. Yeah, I want to go back to 155, man. I do. Let's ride. Let's go, boys. You're playing the winner. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Cowboy, this is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. I don't care who. I just want to know when. What do you think will happen with Connor now? He's come out and said, no, I don't have to fight Khabib next. It can be somebody else. Maybe a title fight isn't my next fight. The one thing that Connor lost, he lost control of the power. Ground and pound has been extremely difficult to beat. This guy, Nurmagomedov, is as good as I've ever seen. Maybe the best I've ever seen at doing that. Connor was out of his depth. Khabib Nurmagomedov went out there, did exactly what he said he was going to do. And Connor hit him with some pretty good front kicks to the body, but didn't really get much off on the feet. As Connor started to wear out and get tired, that's when you saw Khabib start to do what Khabib does. Connor didn't really land anything significant. And on the ground, he just got mauled. Hugely disappointed. Yeah. We didn't get the result on the night. The style of takedowns, everything was kind of what we expected, and we, we spent a lot of time in preparing for that. It's never as easy as you think it is. The way in which he accepted defeat makes him a very dangerous man. It isn't the critic who counts. Not the man who points out where the strong men stumbled. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. The one who errs and comes short again and again. The one who understands the great devotions. The one who spends himself in a worthy cause. And who, at the worst, if he should fail, at least he fails while daring greatly. So that his place shall never be with those cold or timid souls who know neither defeat nor victory. This man is not to be criticized. He is stepping up to the plate. This McGregor is a dangerous man because he conducts himself well. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything which is in it and which is more, you will be a beacon. You will be a standard bearer. You will be a success. You will be a man. You are a man. <laughs> I don't know where they're going to go from here. We will see him back. I can't imagine Connor drifting off into the sunset off the back of a, off a loss. If I know Connor at all, he has to fight again. If you had to guess what's next, there is a rumor, at least if you listen to Instagram. The answer is you do what Connor did, and you say, then I'll fight someone else. Donald Cerrone. I'm not fighting anybody. They paid me free. I'm starting to think we're a cowboy versus Conor McGregor. It's a real possibility. Conor is such a special fighter. There is a back and forth between Donald Cerrone and Conor McGregor that's on video. That's very relevant for promotion. Conor has no right coming over to 55. There's no way he's never stand a chance. It's too big for him. or too strong. You're stiff as a board. I'd snap you in half and that's it. Well, it is time. I think it's happening. How bad do you want to kick Conor McGregor's ass? Oh, no, no, no. Can't talk about the golden child like that. Come on now. Beat nobody. You think you're going to come up to 155 make a statement? Come on, man. Sit the fuck down. Shut your mouth, kid. The artist got back. Fuck everybody else. Okay. Donald Cerrone versus McGregor does work. And for the first time ever, two-division champion Conor McGregor. Everyone in the game wants this fight. Listen to this joke at talk. Just to sit back here and laugh. Another broke, jealous, bitter fire. That's the fight right there that everybody wants to see. Cowboy, he's the most winningest fighter of all time. On judgment he's very, very recognizable. Coming off a huge win. It's fucking Donald Cerrone. He wants to come down 55. This is why I'm here. 
this moment right here, right? For Connor, you got a guy who will play the game with you. He's going to strike with you. Cowboy's a big name. Connor needs to get a win. It, it's not an easy fight for Connor or Cowboy, and it's a huge name. And Connor has to get a win to get back to a title shot. The point is this that fight sells, that fight works. That's the kind of fight I think stylistically that Connor's going to look at and go, yeah, I would take that. For sure, Cowboy's going to look at that and take that. I think that's probably the most likely scenario. He's doing a great job. Talk yourself right into a title shot, man. Hell yeah, good job. Hey, hey, he yeah. fights. Now he's got a real test. This is the lottery fight. I see stiffness when I look in that 155 pound division. I feel like they're stuck in the mood almost. In the fucking press conference, I wanted to rip him so bad. Like, you know what, Connor? You can blow me like a cup of hot soup, you son of a bitch. Cerrone said he wants to make one last run at 155. Now that he's kind of had mixed results at 170 pounds, he wants to go back to 155 and make that last run in his career. Cerrone has a huge fan base. A possible way for Conor McGregor to get back on track at 155 pounds would be to face a, a guy like a cowboy Cerrone. Donald Cerrone versus Conor McGregor. Cerrone had that big win over Mike Perry. Now he's calling out Conor McGregor. Cowboy put on Twitter, uh, just waiting on McGregor to sign now. Pretty exciting fighter. They'll both talk some shit going into it. Cerrone's almost like another Nate Diaz in the sense that like, I think people are going to like, oh yeah, yeah, Conor should win this fight. And then he could just fucking him up and choke him out. Cerrone's a really, really well-versed jiu-jitsu guy. If Connor's going to continue fighting, he's going to pick that next fight carefully. He's a fucking tough guy. Donald Cerrone isn't a walk in the park, but I do think Cerrone would be a good pick. Cowboys back. Yeah. Yeah.